This short video will show you how to create a patient online services account. You may have noticed the Create Account button on the email you received from Mayo Clinic. This is a link to a page created specifically for you. This link is valid for 30 days after the date the email was sent. But the sooner you create your account, the sooner you can use Patient Online Services and its many features. You'll need your Mayo Clinic number to create this account. You may have already received this number from the Mayo Clinic staff member who sent you the email. If not, you can find the number on Letters from Mayo Clinic or your Patient Appointment Guide. If you can't find the number, call Mayo Clinic Customer Assistance at 877-858-0398 between 7 a.m. and 7 p.m. Central Time, Monday through Friday. The associate will help you get this number and can also help you create your patient online services account. When you have your Mayo Clinic number and are connected to the internet, select the Create Account button to begin. You'll see this screen. You'll see that your activation code has already been entered. This code is specific to you and can only be used to create your account. Type in the other information, including your Mayo Clinic number and your primary email address. This is the email address that you want Mayo Clinic to use to send you information from Patient Online Services. Now you'll type in your legal name. This should be the same name that appears on all of your Mayo Clinic records. It's important that you use this exact name. If you can't remember whether you provided a middle name or if you provided just an initial, please just skip the optional middle name field. Also, please don't add any suffixes such as junior or senior by your last name. Check the spelling of your name. If you type in a name that is not exactly what you have already given to Mayo Clinic, an error message saying your Mayo Clinic number is incorrect will appear, and you'll need to call Mayo Clinic Customer Assistance for help in creating this account. Continue to complete this form with your birth date, then select I'm not a robot, and then select the Continue button to go to the next screen. Here you type in a username and password following the instructions on the screen. Write down your username and password to help you remember them. Choose a reminder question and type in an answer. You should probably write down this answer as well. Make sure that you use the same spelling and capitalization that you used on the form. Take a moment to review the Mayo Clinic Online Services Terms and Conditions of Use by using the scroll bar, and when you're ready, select the I Agree box to agree to these terms and conditions. Then select Continue. You'll see this screen telling you that you need to check your email for an activation link to finish creating your patient online services account. In a few minutes, you'll receive an email from Mayo Clinic Online Services, very similar to this one. Once you get it, select the words activation link or copy and paste the complete URL in your browser. You'll be taken to this screen where you enter the username and password you just created. The first time you log into your account, you'll be asked to accept Mayo Clinic's privacy practices. Read through this by using the scroll bar and then, when you're ready, click here to indicate that you've read and accept the policy. Select Continue and you'll be taken to the home page of Patient Online Services. Take some time to go through the various screens and learn about the different features to see how you can use Patient Online Services to stay connected to Mayo Clinic and your care team. If you have any trouble creating this Patient Online Services account, please call Mayo Clinic Customer Assistance at 877-858-0398 between 7 a.m. and 7 p.m. Central Time, Monday through Friday. An agent can help you create the account.